The power steering reservoir and pump are located on the front left of the motor, red arrow. To replace it, you will need to remove the two air inlet ducts as well as the front engine cover, yellow arrows. If you need additional help, please see our article and video on engine cover removal for additional assistance by following the link at the end of this video. You may want to remove the front trim cover for additional room. To remove the cover, turn the plastic lock, yellow arrow, 90 degrees to unclock it. Remove the overflow and cable release from the cover, red arrow. Then pull forward on the cover on each side, green arrows, and lift the rear of the cover up and remove it. Carefully clean the area around the fill cap on the reservoir. Open it and use a fluid pump to suck as much fluid as you can from the reservoir, red arrow. No matter how good of a job you do removing the fluid, there will still be some left when you remove the reservoir, so be prepared for it. Use a quarter inch drive and a T30 torque and remove the three bolts, red arrows. The bolts will remain in the reservoir housing after you unscrew them from the motor. The reservoir is mounted to the return line of the pump and held in place by a clip. The clip is difficult to see when installed and impossible to photograph. Reach in behind the pump and insert a flathead screwdriver and pry the clip off, red arrow. Next, pull the reservoir off the pump. With the reservoir removed, you can see where it attaches to the pump and approximately where the clip goes to hold it in place, red arrow. Always replace the O-ring after you have removed the reservoir yellow arrow. Place the reservoir off to the side and be prepared to catch the fluid that will spill out. You do not need to disconnect the lines unless you are replacing the reservoir as well as the pump, red arrow. The power steering pump is located below the reservoir, red arrow. The pump will be removed with the pulley attached. Begin by removing the high pressure line as indicated by the yellow arrow. Note, I have removed the oil filter cooler and housing for photographic purposes only. You do not need to remove these to perform the work. Clean around the banjo fitting and then use a 22 millimeter wrench and remove the banjo bolt, red arrow. Always replace the two crush washers on each side of the banjo fitting, red arrows, and make sure everything is clean. Even the smallest amount of dirt shown in this photograph can damage the power steering system. Use an E10 socket and remove the three bolts holding the pump to the mount. The bolt on the rear is difficult to access. If you need more room to work, you can disconnect the AC compressor from its mount and lower it out of the way. Just make sure you do not disconnect the lines to the AC compressor. With the mounting bolts removed, turn the pump over while being prepared for fluid to spill out and disconnect the ground wire from the back using an E12 torque socket, red arrow. Always install a new O-ring on the fitting between the pump and the reservoir, red arrow, and ensure the cleanliness of the banjo bolt opening, yellow arrow. Again, even a small amount of dirt or debris can affect the performance or cause damage to the system. Installation is the reverse of removal. Please see our article and video on how to properly fill and bleed your power steering system by following the link at the end of this video. Failure to properly fill and bleed the system can result in damage. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.